So this is uh, medical lane six, evaluate and treat a casualty for spinal injury and shock. Task, identify the signs and symptoms of shock, evaluate and treat a casualty for spinal injury and shock. Condition, you're in a secure forward operating base in a non seaburn environment. You witness a soldier fall from a guard tower that the casualty was initially acting fine, but begins complaining of nausea, difficulty breathing, and abdominal pain, but now only reacts to pain. The casualty is lying on a litter with a long spine board, and there is another soldier available to assist. Standard, identify at least six signs and symptoms of shock with no incorrect answers within one minute, apply a cervical collar, treat for shock, and prepare for transfer to standard in sequence within seven minutes without causing further injury. Step one, identify signs and symptoms of shock. Sweaty, no cool skin. Step two, apply a cervical collar, treat for shock, and prepare for transfer. Step one, apply cervical collar. Reassure the casualty and explain the procedure to them. You be all right, buddy. Applying cervical collar. Determine the size of collar to apply. The front height of the collar should fit between the chin in the chest at the supersternal notch. Once in place, the collar should rest on the shoulder girdle and provide firm support under both sides of the mandible without obstructing the airway or any ventilation efforts. Size the collar based on the manufacturer's instructions. Apply the collar to a supine casualty. Ensure the other soldier maintains inline stabilization. Set the collar in place around the neck and secure the Velcro strap in place. Maintain manual stabilization of the head and neck until the casualty is immobilized on a long spine board. Immobilize casualty to spine board using straps across chest, pelvis, and legs. Apply head supports to each side of the casualty's head and fasten the straps or cravat-like material tightly over the head supports and lower forehead and over the pads and rigid cervical collar. Step two, assess for shock. Assess casualties level of consciousness. I'm gonna do half poo, sternum rub. Casualty does not answer, but reacts to pain. Step two, evaluate skin. Checking skin. Skin is pale and moist, abdomen is distended. Step three, treat for hemorrhagic shock. Position the casualty. Move the casualty under shelter to shade them from direct sunlight. Bring the casualty to shade. Secure casualty and long spine board to the litter before moving. Loosen clothing at the neck, waist, or anywhere it is binding. Prevent the casualty from getting chilled or overheated. Using a blanket or clothing, cover the casualty to avoid loss of body heat by wrapping completely around the casualty, underneath the litter straps. Resecure the patient to the litter. Calm and reassure the casualty. Watch the casualty closely for life-threatening conditions. Watch the casualty closely for life-threatening conditions and check for other injuries if necessary. Seek the next level of medical aid. Be okay, buddy. Step four, remove DD Form 1380 from IFAC and record all treatments. Administrative data will already be filled out. On the front of the card, evacuation, mark an X on the casualty's evacuation priority. Urgent. Date, write date of injury in day, month, year format. For example, 29 June 13. Okay. Time, write 24 hour time of injury and indicate whether local or Zulu time. For example, 1300 Zulu.
mechanism of injury. Mark an X on the mechanism or cause of injury. Oh. Time. Write time of vital signs taken. Injury. Mark an X at the site of the injury on the body picture. If multiple mechanisms of injury and multiple injuries, draw a line between the mechanism of injury and the anatomical site of the injury. Pulse. Rate and location. Write casualties pulse rate. Respiratory rate. Write casualties respiratory rate. Avpu, right casualties level of consciousness on the back of the card. Evacuation, mark an X on the casualties evacuation priority slash precedence. Other, mark an X for other treatments administered. First responder name, print the first responder's name. First responder's last four. Write last four numbers of the first responder's social security number. Secure the DD form 1380 to the casualty per unit SOP on the right hand. At this time, the station is complete.